Hello Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. <clears throat> it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, today I'm going to be um, doing a Fairy Oracle reading for you for December 2020 um, using the Fairy Oracle cards by Brian Froud um, which bring in um, some lovely different energies at this time. Um, I've done a pre-shuffle um, to get your energy into the cards Virgo so um, I'll just do a final shuffle now. Um, it is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you um, but I'm sure whoever it's meant for um, you will recognise it as, as it as I go through the reading. I hope you're all doing well at this time. So we have your current energy or and a situation. Um, the challenges to that um, what's in your power times to and um, a possible outcome based on actions from this um, reading or not so a possible outcome there and then some guidance extra guidance from the universal and the elemental energies there we go now at the bottom of the deck we have the feline um, I love this energy I love how he looks up so the feline comes forward to say there's some Loose ends need tying up. Um, something needs completing, um, either um, legal or uh, every day. Um, but something needs completing. So I'll just put that um, energy to one side at the moment. And that's interesting. <laughs> um, I'm going to carry on shuffling, but we've got the bodacious bodak underneath uh, the feline. And the bodacious bodak, he's the meddler, and he will finish things... Um, if you don't do it, he'll do it, but he'll do it in a, in a very different way to where you will. So uh, it's a bit of a message that if you leave things too long, somebody else will get them done, but they'll be done in, a, in not the way that you would want them doing. So um, let's just do a final shuffle now. Um, could we have some clarity cards, please, for the cards on the table? Could we have some clarity cards, please? For the cards on the table, thank you. Okay, so we'll take another one um, from the bottom to join the fee lion. So we have here of here of the fairy sword, um, and here of the fairy sword. This is about having strength and courage, grasping the nettle, if you like, um, being um, clear, determined. And so, so you, you know, all of those sorts of energies. Um, so grasp the nettle, tie up the loose ends, you know, um, cut away that which is no longer needed, sort things out, um, ready for going forward. Brilliant. So, um, at the heart of your reading, wow, here we go. We've got the oak men and we've got the green woman. They look like a, a couple, really, don't they? Um, and that may be the case, but anyway, the oak men. Um, this is about ancient wisdom, ancestral wisdom. Um, taking a step back, taking your time, um, looking into the root of a matter, getting to the roots of a matter, um, seeking wise counsel, if you like, um, if necessary, from from the elders um, within the family set situation or in community um, or just within yourself tapping into your um, energies um, but getting to the root of something but this is use, using old wisdom to get to get information about something um, and then the green woman is a clarifier and this is about tapping into your wild side um, being your authentic self, um, engaging with nature, tapping into the magic um, of what nature has to offer. Also, uh, evolution is a word that has come to mind as well. As you're evolving, you know, evolve as your authentic self. Um, so we'll come back to these in a minute. We'll see where this is going. So tapping into some uh, ancient wisdom, ancestral wisdom, drawing on the roots to get information about something. Um, 
but it, it's also about being yourself and tapping into the wild side of yourself at the same time. So let's see. So what are the challenges to those energies? For you, Virgo. Well, the challenges um, are fairies of the future and himself. So um, fairies of the future, this is about um, a time of making plans to go forward. Um, not dwelling too much on the past. Um, let the elf with his um, eyes, got one eye looking to the past, one eye to the future. L leave all those energies to him. Because for you, it's about um, being mindful of the past, of course, but making plans for, to go forward. But this, this is in the challenge at the moment. And I'll come back to the first two cards in a minute. Um, and then we have himself. And this is... Um, a very godlike energy, a very powerful, universal, paternalistic energy. Um, when himself comes forward, he sort of brings a lot of power and energy to all the cards around him. So this is this is the ultimate um, universe. You can see the universe, the stars are all in his in his hair, and you can see his crown chakra, his third eye, and his on his brow, um, and his heart chakra are all lit up. So he comes from a very um, benevolent energy he wants he wants the best for everybody on the planet um, but uh, he does bring um, justice forward as well and I know um, that's a very important energy um, for all of us and you know, to have that sense of balance and equality and justice around us so um, so these he has come forward connected with fairies of the future. So as you're planning to go forward, um, we have himself now that's around. And this is about, and you can see he's looking straight at you. So it's got to be right. It's got to be just. It's got to be right for everybody, um, whatever the plans are going forward. Um, so if we then now look back to the two cards here and remember the first thing I said was I thought we'd got a couple here and this could be the case that as the plans are going forward and there's a need for equality and balance and doing the right thing it could be that we have um, somebody that um, draws on their wisdom their ancient roots on ancestral um, guidance if you like takes a step back, is very patient, looks into things deeply before making these decisions going forward. Um, and then we may have somebody, a different energy with this. So this this energy, it looks like we've got a male and a female here, doesn't it? A couple. Um, and we have somebody here that's very much herself, very much authentic self. Um, taps into, you know, what's right for her, a bit, very much in tune with nature, very loving, benevolent energy also, um, but very much a, a, an independent thinker, you see, here. So, oh, <laughs> so let's see. Let's see where we're going with this. Now, there we go. What's in your power at the moment? So we have the spirit dancer and we have the loam. Um, the loam is about unconditional giving, unconditional giving. Um, it's, sometimes it's about un unconditional receiving also, so being open to receive. But definitely it's about unconditional giving. Um, and the spirit dancer is about dancing your dance, being your authentic self. Um, all right, being the best that you can be. All right, so... Um, not copying anybody else, not doing anybody else's dance, but, you know, developing your own dance, developing your own sense of self also. Um, and this is in your power to do this, this as we're all evolving constantly, aren't we? Um, so be yourself, but also this is about unconditional giving. All right, so from your position of who you are, um, be ready to, um, to give and share. Um, but also be open to receive as well. So 
So what else is in your power? Well, we have Lom the Poet and we have the Unity Energy. Um, so the uni Unity Energy is about um, pooling resources. Um, divided we fall, together we conquer. Um, I know it's something like that, but um, this is about, you know, coming together with others um, to make a stronger unit, whether it's family and friends, community, whatever it is. But join, pooling our resources, joining together, drawing our energies together, um, united, we're far stronger. So this is about trying to be, this is about unity, and it may be unity um, between um, these two energies. Okay, so pooling resources, trying to come together, trying to get some shared values some sh as you're planning to go forward. Um, and and that's, a, that's a clarify for Lom the Poet because there's a little bit of a dreamer energy here. Um, somebody is a little bit switched off. Somebody is very much the dreamer within themselves. Um, the, the, the Lom the Poet does get sparked his interests get sparked when he's writing poetry, when he's doing his thing, because he's very much a poet. And that's what interests him. And a little bit switched off with everything else, really. Um, but it's within your power to um, perhaps, you know, come out of that a little bit. If you're going to be united, um, don't, don't separate yourself out too much. If this is your energy, this is your energy. However, um, it may then become a problem um, when you're making plans for going forwards with somebody else who may be, have this energy. <laughs> all right, all right, Virgo. So you're going to be stronger. Br bring this energy forward, um, but don't, don't switch off. Don't, don't, be, don't stay in a dreamland for too long especially making plans going forward and in fact you, this this is your energy this this energy can and actually enhance plans going forward you can bring your thoughts and dreams to the table all right okay now um possible outcome here We've got Mick the Myanza and we've got Lisa of the Shadows. Now, um, Mick the Myanza, um, this is about um, not being switched off again. Um, Mick, Mick the Myanza is very much in his own world, really. He's, he's sort of looking, looking in the past. He's very much a little bit stuck in the past, if you like. But there's, there's lots of little... Um, signs and symbols and messages you see the little faces here in the ivy they're trying to get make the my answers attention they wanted to tell him something um but he's preoccupied he's um in a bit of a a dreamlike state really so he's not he's not noticing the signs around him things that he needs to be taking notice of little nudges little nudges um because he's a little bit um stuck if you like in his own mind and, and and energy now the clarify here is this is lisa the shadows and lisa the shadows comes forward when it's the um first uh, signs of healing there's um healing that is starting to take place um for some of you virgo uh, in some area of your life um to do with something perhaps something from the past but there is healing now starting and and perhaps that accounts for um, being a little bit switched off now because uh, the feeling of these healing energies coming in and probably tapping into the healing energies or being a little bit preoccupied with what, what this is referring to um, from the past um, but not um, seeing the signs and symbols around you in the present um, for going forward. Okay. Um, okay, so guidance from the energies, from the universe and the elemental energies. We have Estasis and we have Lady of the Harvest. And now, um, Lady of the Harvest is when there's been a completion of a cycle. Uh, something has ended, um, ready for going forward. But as with all endings, there's, it leaves uh, an element of sadness 
there. There, there's, there's a, there is sadness in this card. Um, perhaps a grieving, grieving energy for what's gone now. Um, okay, so, but then we have ecstatis, which is a, which is almost it's an opposite energy. Um, ecstatis is about ecstasy, real sparks of ecstasy and joy and celebration. That um, immediate um, feeling when something is really um, made us very happy, uh, you know, it shoots straight to the pleasure centre of the brain, if you like. So uh, a feeling of ecstasy and joy. So that sort of an energy is sparking. Um, however, um, if you are in this energy, then that's going to be difficult, isn't it? That's um, that's a difficult energy, um, because the, you're you're stuck in this energy, but something is sparking around you. Be difficult to see it, and I think that that shows itself with my the my answer. There's something happening around him, trying to get his attention, but he can't see it because of this energy, of the Lady of the Harvest energy, of something that's been completed and left an energy of sadness. Um, but something is definitely sparking. Okay. Now then. Let me... I'm, I, I just get, I'm just getting drawn to... I, I just feel the need I've got to go through this again, just very quickly for you, Virgo. Because there's lots of information coming through here. So, first of all, very quickly, whoops, I just knocked my fairy over. There we are. So, very quickly, we had um, the feline. So, something needs, um, loose ends need tying up. Something needs completing. Um, I need to grasp the sword, have courage, um, and deal with something that needs dealing with. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, we have this couple, don't we? Somebody that is very patient and wise, draws on ancient energies and um, wisdom, um, and then and then the green woman who's very um, uh, taps into the wild side of herself, very independent thinking, um, will always go her own way, if you like. All right. So I feel they've got a couple there, and then the challenges to that is because when we're making plans, uh, the couple making plans going forward. Um, and things needing to be right and just and there's a very paternalistic protective energy at the same time um, and then in your power Virgo um, do dance your dance but at the same time um, unconditional giving be open to share um, and give unconditionally but do be yourself remain your authentic self at the same time so two beautiful energies there, which is in your power to take forward. Um, and then, yes, um, with this part of your energy, Lom the poet, the dreamer, um, but bring that forward and, and, and unite and, and, and have, have that as part of the unity energy. Um, so far as, you know, can bring that beautiful energy in for making plans, but don't, don't switch off. Don't keep it all to yourself. Um, try to um, lift up and unite um, to go forward. You'll be a lot stronger. You will all be stronger um, going forward together, united, as you're making your plans going forward. Okay. There is going to be sparks of energy and interest, um, but there's some completion that uh, you're a bit sad about, so... Uh, that's going to be difficult to see that and be able to take advantage of this. Um, but be aware that this is coming in. So do try and lift lift your energy um, for something that's going to really spark, really spark your interest and your energy. All right. And then just be aware of um, this energy, you know. So there's going to be signs and, 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 and sparks going on around you. So if you're too switched off, you're not going to be able to take advantage of it. Uh, and it is something to do with um, something beginning, a, a healing energy that's coming in now um, to resolve something that happened in the past. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to um, ask for two more messages, please, for Virgo at this time. Two more messages, please, for Virgo to round this reading up. Two more messages, please, um, for Virgo. Well, we have desert passage um, and this is uh, this is saying trust there is a divine plan so the going's going to be a little bit tough a little bit hard um, you're going to find your way through the desert and obviously the desert presents challenges doesn't it um, but as you're going through this desert passage and perhaps feeling alone at times um, and deserted um, trust that there's a divine plan you're on the right road and there is a divine plan going on um so i hope that can give some comfort to some of you virgo for whatever it is that's that's happening um and then the wandering path so the universe wants and the energies the uh, elemental energies want you to enjoy this journey it's part of a divine plan so you know enjoy the journey if you can um whatever sadness has been around whatever cycle has been completed there there is um sparks of um energy and um joy and ecstasy um coming in and going to be happening around you also um and because that's life isn't it that um where it's never one thing or the other what um, we can have painful times and, and and pure joy times all at the same time all right, so um, as you're going through this desert passage, um, enjoy the journey, and that's what the energies want to say to you, Virgo. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, for whoever this reading was for, Virgo, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's offered some clarity um, and some support for you at this time. Um, I'd just like to quickly say thank you to all of my subscribers, past and present, um, who have subscribed to this channel and, and are helping it to evolve and I really do appreciate every single one of you um, but Virgo um, good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future bye bye for now